we just made, finished making this really nice looking markdown file and Visual Studio Code gives us this really nice preview. So we've got all these bullets and code that's syntax highlighted and links and images and really nice expressions. The problem with this though is that we, we have to open this up in VS Code and, and open this visual preview. And that's, that's not really the point of using Markdown. Part of the point of using Markdown is to be able to write in plain text and then be able to, to get other stuff out of that. Sometimes it means being able to read that same plain text file, but sometimes it means being able to give this file to someone else. To do that, we're, we're gonna use Pandoc. So we installed Pandoc a little while ago. Now we're actually gonna use Pandoc to take this markdown formatted stuff and convert it into another kind of file that we can open with something like uh, Microsoft Word. So I'm going to start my terminal and I'm going to press my Windows key and I'm going to start typing in terminal. On Mac OS, again, you could hit command space and that should start your quick launch tool and you can start typing in terminal or you can go through your applications folder. You may want to pin this to your dock or to your taskbar so that it's very quick and easy to access each time you need to do it. Once your terminal's open, everybody, so regardless of whether you're using Mac OS or Windows, can enter the same commands. Our terminal gives us the ability to look at files and folders, but in a text interface as opposed to um, like Windows Explorer or Finder. Uh, what, we're going to talk about this more later in the course, but for now you can just blindly type in what I'm typing in. So I'm going to type in cd change directory. I'm going to type in desktop with an uppercase D. So you need to use uppercase D and then desktop. And then I'm going to press enter. And what you see here is that this is changed now to, from saying C users Franklin to C users Franklin desktop. I'm going to my desktop because I saved this hello.md file here in Visual Studio Code to my desktop folder when I saved it. Once I'm on the desktop, now I'm going to type in pandoc. But this time, instead of pressing enter, I'm going to type in the name of the file, hello.md. I'm going to press dash O here. This is the name of the file that I want it to write out. I'm going to give it the name hello.docx. The .docx here tells Pandoc that I want to make this a Word document. I'm going to press enter on my keyboard, and I'm expecting to see a warning here, and that's okay. If you see anything other than this warning, if you have been following along with what I have been typing in, then you should stop and ask for help here from a TA or from someone else that you can get help from. So if you see something about Pandoc not being found or the file not being found, this is a good time to ask for help. If you see just this warning, that's okay. That's kind of what I was expecting to see here. I'm going to minimize Visual Studio Code, and now I've got this new file called hello.docx on my desktop. And this is a file that you should be able to open with something like Microsoft Word or something like Microsoft WordPad. So I'm going to open that up, and what you can see here is everything that we typed into our markdown file shows up here in this really nicely formatted um, file. So all the images, some of the equations in math shows up. This will show up properly in Microsoft Word as opposed to Microsoft WordPad, but I only have WordPad installed in the system right now. So that's it for converting your file from one format to another. The other thing that you can do as you're going forward with this is you can use other formats. For now, we're going to stick to DocX because we don't have to install anything else on our system. But later, we're going to use uh, Pandoc to convert these files to, to PDF using a different kind of workflow.